So today for our challenges, we are gonna have two different ones. One's a physical challenge and the other one is using your brain cells. So firstly, a physical challenge, we're going to do a water challenge. Now you'll remember that last month for Jonah, we did water challenges too. We did a squirt the furthest water, which was great fun, and also make the biggest splash. So why are we doing water again? You think Elijah the fire eater, fire and water don't go together. But if you listen to the story properly, you'll know that Elijah put water on his altar before praying to God to set it alight. Now water and fire don't normally go, but God answered his prayer and started the fire. And then they were praising God. He is Lord. He is God. So the first challenge. Now if you're doing this outside in the rain, and I recommend doing it outside because there's gonna be some water spillage, Put on a raincoat, you will never see me in a coat again. Raincoat, hood, put some wellies on too if you have them. I have got a very full glass of water. Now put some squash in mine just so you can see the level. It's filled right to the brim. Over my shoulder you'll see a little light stake in the verge there. So my challenge is to get this much of this water to the light stake as possible. So you can do it the full length of your garden, but my garden, yeah, I'm not going that far. Anyway, <laughs> so, you're not just going to walk. I mean, that would make it easy. What I'm going to do is I am going to hop. So if you want to challenge your brothers and sisters to do the same, then you can make it a race. Or you can just do this on your own and see how well you do. So with my water, I'm going to hop to the light. Ready, steady, go. Well, I didn't do too badly. It's gone down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go back to where I was by the table. And this time I'm going to skip. Ooh. Oh, quite a lot came out that time. So you can set yourself loads of different challenges and do it um, with a family member or a friend and see who wins the race. Okay, the next challenge you can do is transporting water. So I have two bowls here. I have one up the garden and one here. I need to transport the water from one bowl to the other. Now you need to make this a race with your parents or with your siblings. So, see so you can transport the most water in say 30 seconds. So, ready, steady, Go, get the water out the bucket, run to the other bucket, slosh it in. Go back, catch some more water, and slosh it in. And keep going for your 30 seconds to see how you get on and who's got the highest. You get a ruler and you measure who's got the highest one. The third challenge is to have fun in a puddle. Now, unfortunately, around here, all the big puddles are in the middle of the road. Do not do puddles in the middle of the road, but I would recommend going down to the church because there's always amazing puddle, puzzles outside the church in the car park. So I've got a really, really rubbishy puddle here. I'm just gonna jump in. and have fun in my puddle. See what challenges you can come up with or do some of these and see how you get on. Now it's on to the brain box puzzles. So we've had the physical challenge of the water collecting and races. So now we have something for those of you who like to do word puzzles and like to think instead of being physical. So, the challenge is, write on a piece of paper, Elijah the fire eater. Then, 
If you are aged nine and under, find as many words with three letters or more in this sentence. So you can use the letters in any order. So for example, you can do the, you can do eat, but you can also do ear because you've got an E, an A and an R. So see how many words you can get. Now, no names, so I won't accept Elijah. Now, if you are 10 and over, you have to do four letter words and more. I mean, if you're nine as well and under, you can do longer words than three. But if you're 10 and over, I don't want any three letter words. You have to find four letter words. So you can have, for starters, fire. You can also have there, two different spellings of it. You can have T-H-E-R-E, -E, or you can have T-H-E-I-R. -E so that's just a starter for you. See how many you can get and let us know on the Facebook page how you get on and the longest word you can find.